Good morning. Good morning. How y'all living out there this morning? How y'all doing? I said, what is the tea? I picked up the wrong notepad. I'm supposed to be spilling some tea and I don't know what the ham sandwich is going on. Okay. <laughs> How y'all living? Let me find this media takeout. I done lost my notes. I was had to run through some errands this morning. And uh, I am trying to get to the next location. Y'all give me a second. All right. Atlanta Housewives. I'm on media takeout. Atlanta Housewives claim and Nene and uh, Greg have separated. I don't know if it's true. But I know Nene said she tired of Greg being mean to her. We will never know what go on behind closed doors because we are not there. So we cannot judge how Miss Lanethia Leaks is feeling about her and Greg. Okay? Greg Leaks. We don't know. I mean, all we can do is assume that everything's okay. But she has been whining the entire season. Greg has been mean to her. And she just cannot take it anymore. Okay? So our prayers is going out to Lanethia Leaks. I don't know where my notes and uh, we gonna keep our ear to the ground. They have um, recorded the reunion. She was not happy with nobody. She unfollowed everybody. She said Cynthia sneaky. Only person is her friend is Marlo and Shamari, okay? So we gonna pray for her. Come on, dude, on your motorcycle. Go on, that loud ass noise, stop, go, okay? They, they saying Cardi B. All right, go, on. Go, go on with your bad ass. Go. On. <laughs> they say Cardi B is in the hospital. I don't know if that's is true. They said uh, she's having complications. Everybody always claims her butt injects. Could the girl just be dehydrated and don't feel good? Why do it always got to be her butt injects? Her butt injects. She not feeling good because of her butt injects, okay? The girl could be just dehydrated and not feeling good, period. Why we always have to prejudge people? We, uh, come on now, come on, come on, you YT, come on, come on, come on. Y'all remember this? Hey. Y'all remember that song? You can have whatever you like. So let's uh, quit being so quick to judge, okay? We praying for Miss Cardi B. I think she just dehydrated. The Pope baby be performing and here, there, everywhere. Y'all people, they human, okay? <coughs> Basketball wives, LA. All right. This is allegedly the team. Tammy Roman may not be returning because they cannot get the numbers right. Tammy say, look, bitch, I'm more than what you offer me. I'm not the full step Tammy no more. I have came up. I'm looking good. I got my body together. And uh, you're going to give me what I want or I'm out of here. So I heard that they negotiate for Tammy's Monty. And we're going to keep our ears to the ground. They say they do not want Jennifer ass back. Jennifer was a nightmare to work with. And they do not want to deal with that heifer hole no more. Okay? <laughs> no more. Bye, girls. See you later. Y'all know Basketball Wives LA. It started off good and I was reviewing it and then it got boring. And my ADDHDT is not, I, I, I mean, if I'm paying attention to something and it's good and then it get boring, I, you can't blame me. Blame the show. <laughs> ah, they also saying uh, Portia looks like she's ready to pop. Come on, Portia, go have that baby. I guess they lied. They claimed that they were gonna do it on the reunion, but she is getting a little spin off. So we're gonna be sitting back watching. We want, we want to see you have a baby, Portia. You know we part of the family. You gotta invite us to the delivery. You know I want to be on the outside looking in, trying to push, girl, push. Okay. Yeah, they saying that um, Steve Harvey, Lori Harvey, the little daughter, 21 years old, maybe dating Puff Daddy, P Diddy, whoever. Y'all, he is so mad because that girl Cassie has kicked his ass to the curb. 
She not fooling with him. She said, no, baby. You done mistreated me for 11 years. 11 years. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'm tired. Sick and tired, okay? And she has moved on. But they trying to say he dating a little 21-year-old. Steve Harvey's little uh, stepdaughter. Daughter-in-law, whatever you want to call her. Honey, she's a cute little girl. She's been seen with um, his son. Which that older son is not um, Puff Daddy's real son, but he adopted him. You know, he looks just like his daddy. I can't think of who his daddy is right now. Um, I've been dreaming about you day and night. I can't think of who it is. Y'all know who I'm talking about. But anyway, Puff Daddy might be dating that little young girl. I said, well, if R. Kelly can have them in the closet, in the basement, chained up so they can't go get no shoes, y'all don't kill me. Don't be mad at Puff Daddy, okay? Get it how you live. Get it how you live. Y'all know I would tell you that quick, fast, and in a hurry. Y'all saw your boy went to jail for a minute yesterday. Honey, he was in there for one hour. He got, did somebody say he had guns at his house? He's on probation. Y'all, soldier boy say, no caps. I was asking my son, like, what do that mean? No caps. He has had the biggest comeback of the year. And uh, he's doing good. He was due to perform. He got out in time enough. Y'all over the shade room and Instagram. I'm back. I was locked up for one hour. They booked me. They took my jury. But I'm here. <laughs> I'm like, okay, soldier boy. And he was due to uh, perform, I think, at the Clippers game. And he made it. He made it, y'all. Okay, he made it. You go, soldier boy. He on probation, soldier boy. You better be good. You better be good. Y'all, they trying to say Nicki Minaj and eloped and got married. Whoever this new guy is in her life, honey, she is sprung. She's sprung. She ain't got time for nobody, okay? I don't know what old boy done done to her, but Nicki Minaj is feeling herself. She canceling shows because they can't get the unicorn up off the ground in the air. She's saying it's their fault. They saying it's her fault. Nikki want to have a baby and a life. You know, you guys, then we can't blame her. Cardi B said, fuck y'all. I'm having my baby. I'm enjoying my life. And that's what she has done. A lot of people tell the uh, celebrities, do not get pregnant. Don't have a baby. It will ruin your career. Slow down your career. Cardi B is trying to prove to us that that is not the case. But we notice she's moving differently since the baby has to be born. Because she don't want to leave the baby. And she said, I take my baby everywhere I go. So, you know, when you got money, you can hire somebody to come on, watch this baby while I'm on the stage, popping my, pop that pussy, hey, pop that pussy, and, and do what you got to do. I am proud of you. I ain't mad at you. Y'all, we going to pray for Miss Nikki. Hopefully, she done uh, found who she want, who she want to be with. It is what it is. And we're praying for Nicki Minaj. I'm praying for Cardi B. I don't have a dog in no fight. I hope they both make it. My love go to the both of them. And last but not least, YBN Almighty J, the young man that was dating Black China that got robbed over there in New York. And um, the guy that's the OG of all the rappers came on and said he did not appreciate what they done. Everybody said why he took it to social media. But um, the guys that um, robbed him and they cut that boy. That boy had to get 300 stitches across his face. And 9 times out of 10 he's going to have to have some plastic surgery. I mean a razor cut. That's attempted murder. But anyway, the guys, they did the robbery because they went online like dummies. They showed everything. I'd be like telling my kids, quit putting everything online. And then they said, well, your ass doing the same thing. I said, but I ain't doing nothing wrong. The police come knock on my door. I done dated a couple of them. I'd be like, come on in. Come on. Go have a seat. What's going on? Because I know I don't do nothing wrong in life. I'm an L, I'm an L7 square. I What? I don't do nothing wrong. Go to work, come home. 
board bitch alert, okay? <laughs> but anyway, y'all, y'all, Miss Tiki got to talking. The guys have got arrested on other charges, and now they may be linked to the charges of robbing YBN, taking his jewelry, and slicing that board from his ear to his asshole, okay? Yes, I say from his ear to his asshole. I say, you know what? There's a lot of things going on in life, but you ain't got to rob a person like that. Snatch that motherfucker and beat his ass. But did you have to cut that boy across his face? Uh-oh, I'm online right now, and it said Nicki Minaj cancels third show on her world tour. Due to adverse weather conditions, which have affected Irish sea sailings over the last 24 hours, resulted in some equipment trucks not arriving. Nicki Minaj has been forced to cancel her concert tonight, March 15th, in, du in Dublin Arena. What? Nicki, what is going on? Nicki Minaj cancels her third show on her world tour. <laughs> Nikki, come on, Nikki. I was rooting for you. I was just sitting here saying that, you know, we're not going to hold it against you. We don't know what's going on. I'm going to pray for you. We hope one day you're going to have a baby. And now your ass over here cutting the rug, okay? <laughs> Girl, oh, that, that reminds me not to buy no tickets. Not to buy now a ticket from your ass, okay? Because I don't want to be sitting somewhere pissed the fuck off. I done paid my two, three hundred dollars, probably four, five in some places, and your ass didn't show the fuck up. Girl, girl, I'll be ready to cut a rug with your ass. I had that happen to me one time with Miss Janet. Miss Janet, if you're nasty, and honey, my girlfriend claimed tickets for us to go. I don't know what's going on. I'm about to call Road Dog. Cause she say somebody won some tickets. I'm like, when you win tickets, bitch, I don't want to be up there in the balcony. Fuck that shit. If I can't be on the floor or somewhere where I can see her, leave my black ass at home. I'll watch her on TV, okay? TV. All right, guys. Y'all follow me over there. IG Tiki44. Facebook Tiki44. Y'all know I be trying to Snapchat, tally, whack, give a dog a bone. And blessings, blessings, and blessings. And no matter what's going on in life, do not let the devil steal your joy. Bye, guys.